All righty. Welcome to Night News, our top story. PW Insider reporting that Matt Riddle was supposed to be the Royal Rumble winner, but they changed the plans or whatever. Bullshit, folks. Like, why? On what planet? You know, who's the source for this? Is there a source? You know what I mean? Who's smoking more dope, their riddle or the dirt sheets? Because I don't see what's the point of this story or... Like, I, I don't get it, but, you know, apparently it was supposed to be Riddle, and then I guess big evil Vince McMahon changed the plans. Guess what? Plans change. It's Riddle. Oh, we're changing the plans again. It's Brock. Oh, morale is down. Um... And apparently things were changed and, you know, Shane was fighting backstage, jerking off backstage. I don't believe any of this garbage, this news that came out today, the Shane McMahon infighting, the Shane McMahon heat. I think it's just indie fans, anti-WWE media going full retard. That's what I think, like, riddle... You know, I, I think I've heard it all now there. Um, Kurt Angle confirms that he's returning to WWE apparently on his podcast. He said they want me on the show for a month or so. So Kurt Angle apparently coming back in some form. Headlines today, Alexa Bliss upset. That she's not in the Rumble, you know what I mean? And apparently it's a tweet, a picture, lyrics from Little Mermaid. It says, but who cares? No big deal, I want more. And apparently big speculation, this is referencing the Rumble. You know, if Alexa Bliss has a, a tweet that says, fuck the rumble, right? If she writes, I'm upset about the rumble, then I'll believe it. Like, she's a professional. She works there. It's not like she thinks she's supposed to win the rumble or she's upset or you know what I mean. These are pros there. You can tell that it's fans coming up. With this retarded news, because it's made from a retard AEW fan perspective. Like, breaking news Finn Balor should be the, the winner, not Brock. It should be Finn. That's what everybody thinks backstage. Sure, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? This news is fucking straight up out of this world or whatever. So because of all the Brock Lesnar complaints, Nia Jax defended Brock Lesnar. That bitch! Um, <laughs> I'm a big Brock fan. He's talented. He works hard, works hard. Come on. There. He does work hard when he's there. A nice person. He comes back when he's needed and he always gives back. He also likes the money, you know what I mean. He uh, he doesn't work for free or whatever, but I agree that, uh, you know, it makes sense for him to win, you know what I mean. Him, he, he wins the Rumble, he's going to fight Roman at Mania. That's classic wrestling WWE <laughs> Rumble Mania. Like, there's nothing wrong here, it's... Retarded fans, they're pissed off. Otis didn't win the Rumble. Finn Balor, Cesaro. Like, nobody gives a fuck about this indie trash. You know what I mean? It's fans, they're pissed off. And they're or claiming to be pissed off. 
so they can look cool on Twitter in front of brain dead in the fans. And the news, sadly, they cater to these retards, which is why they come up with retarded headlines, you know what I mean, but it's a sad state of affairs, folks, you know. Basically, they're pretending to be mad, so they want to portray that the wrestlers themselves are mad, and Alexa's mad, everybody's mad at Shane, uh, Shane wants to to hurt Jamie Noble or whatever. He gave him a wedgie backstage there. It's all goofy trash, basically, there. Um, AW, folks, breaking news there. The viewership came out 601,000. I mean, it's uh, better than usual, but it's still trash. Still weak. Breaking news. AW's trash. Especially Rampage. Um, big Finn Balor update, folks. These indie fans, they're upset Balor wasn't there. You know what I mean? Something must have went wrong with him. It's a shock he wasn't there because he's such a big star. <laughs> such a star. So people were saying that he was injured, possibly, but he's not injured. He's at home in Ireland. There's a big report that he'll be back before Mania. He still works there. He's not injured unless he gets fired. It's a pretty sure thing that he'll be back before Mania. There. Breaking news. I'm stating the obvious. Breaking news. Edge is going to be there before me and you. I'm a reporter. Um, so I understand these indie people, AW people, they jerk off to Finn Balor. Can you just stop? Give it a rest with this Finn Balor news, Finn Balor update. Uh, shut up with Finn Balor. Who gives a shit? Like, for the love of God. So Big Swole, when Big Swole was talking against Tony Khan, she brought up WWE, her kid watches WWE, because she likes to see people that look like her, Big E, Bianca Belair, stuff like this, right? So a fan was pissed off, I guess, that Ronda won the Rumble. So she said, does Big Swole's kid like this or something? Meaning, you know, I guess it's racist there that Ronda won or whatever. It's, uh, you know, Brock Lesnar wins, Ronda wins. This is racism, heavy racism here. Um, so Big Swall replies to this person, hey, don't use my kid for your clout chasing or whatever, you know. Person tries to say WWE's racist because Ronda wins. And they use her kid for this fake racism bullshit. So Big Swall, hey, don't use my kid for your crap and... You know, congratulations, Big Swall there, for standing up for her kid. I mean, Cedric Alexander, they don't use my kid to look cool or whatever with your fake racism, I mean. So there you go, folks. A, a day of very strange news. The anti-WWE pro AEW media is in... In full machine mode, you know. How can we pin McMahon? What fucking weirdo story can we invent about the Rumble? How is Finn Balor victimized this week? I mean, give it up, you fucking freaks or whatever. These these people are such freaks. The websites with their fake reports. and There's some real news that happens, right? Ratings is real news, but these Finn Balor backstage reports and Shane McMahon jerking off backstage there and, 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 and licking Jamie Noble. This is obvious fake. 
you know, the what cultures, the wrestle talks, they run with this and they know it's fake. A PW Insider reports and then they just talk like, like it's real even though it's obviously fake. And sadly, the AEW fans roll with this because they're petty, petty, very petty people, you know what I mean. But I'm going to talk about this news, folks, and I'm going to tell you the truth as I see it, folks, you know what I mean, because somebody needs to call out these bullshitters, ladies and gentlemen, and that's going to be me there, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm a big man, I mean, breaking news, I'm a fucking god, you know, what <laughs> no, I'm kidding, until next time, peace, ha!